Hi, my name is Pease, let me not waste your time. Today I'll be showing you how to create your vector images in DaVinci Resolve. In order to do this method, you're going to have to download Reactor. I have a video showing you how to download Reactor there. And then once you have it installed, I'll show you how to get the tool. All right, first we're in our Fusion page, and this is the image I want to vectorize. And to install the tool, we need to go up to Workspace, going to go down to Scripts, all the way down to Reactor, and then Open Reactor. Once it opens up, we're going to type in the search bar, Vector Snapshot. And the Vector Snapshot should be up right there, and you're going to hit the check mark to install it. And once it installs, you might have to restart your DaVinci, but I already have it installed here, so I'm going to show you how to do it. All Right, once we have the script installed, what we need to do is prepare our image so it can be vectorized properly so we can get a .svg file. In order to do this, we need to prepare our image. So what we want transparent is transparent with zero alpha over here. And what we want that is opaque, all of it needs to be white. So what we need to do in order to make this white, add a background node, put it over here. And I'm going to take our image that we have over here, plug it into the background node, plug this background node into our media out over here, and then change the color of the background to white, just like that. And that will ensure that your main subject is white and your transparency is transparent. If you're working with a black and white image beforehand, you just have to go and change the channel to luminance in the settings go down to channel and change this to luminance and now it'll take the lumen values of that and make sure that you can adjust however you want and just like that but i'm just going to use alpha and then we need to make sure that our image is in the first viewer so to make sure that it's in our first viewer we need to hit one on our keyboard and then hit this button over here on our viewer and so we have two viewers this is the first viewer and the second viewer we need to make sure it's on the left viewer which is the first viewer over here and then lastly we need to add something called an auto domain so we're going to hit shift space type in auto domain and add that over here and this just makes sure that it's only focusing on the image that's over here. It doesn't worry about any other pixels that are around here, just like that. Actually, let's just view the auto domain in both of yours, just like that. All right, now we can get to run our script. What we're going to do is we're going to hit control shift space. Then we're going to type in vector snapshot and we can go down to vector snapshot. I use the second one and then we're going to hit enter and it's going to create our SVG and it's going to go into our temp file. So there it is and there are svgs created as long as a .bmp file but we don't really need this one we just need the .svg file right now it's in this fusion folder but if you want to save this please put this in a folder that you're going to have saved just like that all right i'm just going to put it in the pictures over there all right we can close this out and now let's add our svg file in order to add an svg file we need to go up to fusion go down to import and over to svg and then find the file that we just saved there we have it right here let's open it up and then this will pop up where we want to adjust the size and i just usually keep it how it is and then hit okay and then now we review this node over here here we have our SVG just like this, and then we can open up this little group over here. You can see all the nodes that it, that it took in order to create this image right here, and you can see each one is separated out just like this with masks, and it's because that's how it creates the nice vector images is through the masks, the polygon, just like that. And yeah, with this, now we have a vectorized image, and then we could go over here, add another background node, put this into there, and then change the color to white or whatever color we want. We can do whatever we want with this SVG file, and what many people like to do is take each parts of the letters just like this. Or let's actually just view this node. Take parts of these letters, select them, and then drag them around just like that to create more of that stretchy text like you see in motion graphic animations, just like that. And this is one way of doing that, just like this with the vectorized path. All right, hope that was helpful. If you're interested in other scripts and image resolve, click this video right here, or it shows you a Python script made by Techito on a bunch of cool tools that he's added to image resolve for Windows users. So if you want to see that, click this video right here. Otherwise, subscribe and have a good day.